Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the line dot chart. Now, the line dot chart is kind of a nice interactive way of having an updated line chart. So if you like line charts, you like showing trends and data, the line dot chart combines those two ideas of an, a dot chart and a line chart together. So you can actually see each of the data points emphasized with a larger dot wherever there's larger values. You'll also see the ability to add in a counter. So you'll see each instance of an entry in the data will be displayed on the counter. In this case, you can see these are actually a listing of each of the uh, popular Disney movies over time, and you can see each year where they have actually grossed a certain value. So you can see values in certain years, whereas other years don't have values, they don't have dots. So there's a pretty simple visual to do. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, how you can actually download it, start to use the line dot chart, and uh, walk through the experience here. All right, so first thing first, of course, you would go to the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery. If you go to visuals.powerbi.com, scroll down, look for the line dot chart right here. You can also find it by going to the Office Store. This is where they are moving all the Power BI custom visuals to. So if you go to store.office.com, go down on the left-hand side over to the products list. If I select Power BI, this gives you a list of all the Power BI custom visuals. And I can scroll over to where you see See More Apps. And under See More Apps, I believe it's on the second page currently, you'll find the line dot chart right here. If you select the line dot chart, go ahead and select to add it. And you can download the line dot chart. That will give you the custom visual. You can also then Download the sample, which will give you some sample information that you can use, like sample data, as well as a sample example of how to use the line dot chart. I'm going to do that for you as well in our example today. So don't worry so much about the sample they provide here, because I've got a sample ready to go for you. So let's go ahead and uh, move on and go over to the Power BI desktop to show you our next steps on how we can use this. So over in the Power BI desktop, we're going to start by bringing in some data. The data that we're going to be using today is going to be the average household income, or the average income per individual in the country of Bermuda. Might seem like an odd place to look at, but it's actually a little bit interesting because Bermuda has had some major spikes in the trend of their income per house, or income per person, I should say. And so it's going to be interesting to see how this appears not only on a line chart, but this animated line chart that we're going to look at today with the line dot chart. So to get started with this, we'll just go ahead and bring in the data that we're going to be using today. You can do that by going up to the Get Data section and then selecting Excel. Once you select Excel, you'll then find the Bermuda income data that we're using for this example, and I'll hit open. With the Bermuda income data selected, you'll also bring in the spreadsheet inside that workbook called Income Per Person, and select Load. Now, we don't have an entry for every year, and I actually intentionally took out some of the data so that we can actually see what happens when we're missing values in our timeline of data that we're looking at. And it's actually a nice, kind of a nice interaction that you can see whenever you have gaps in data, it kind of fills in the blank. Uh, but let's take a look at how this works. First things first, though, we need to bring in the line dot chart custom visual, and you can do that by expanding this a little bit until you see the three ellipses or the dot here. If you hit import from file, this will allow you to import the custom visual that we downloaded a few moments ago. So if I select import a custom visual, select import here, and then go find the custom visual that you just downloaded a few moments ago called line dot chart right here, and hit open. This will now add that custom visual to your library of custom visuals here, or, or visuals in general. And then you can start to use this one here, the line dot chart, by simply selecting it. Go ahead and make it a little larger, and then we can start to apply some data to it. Now you'll notice over in the field well that it's expecting a field here called date. I'll go ahead and tell you, it actually does not have to be a date. In fact, the field I have here is year, and it's just a number. It's the number of the year. So that actually works here as well. If you click and drag year in the date section, and if you bring in the income per person underneath the value section here, it actually creates a nice line chart for us. Now, a couple ways you can interact with this. You'll notice there is a play button right here, and if you select the play button, it actually begins right away, and you can see uh, some of the default settings that are made available to you here. The counter you see in the top right is actually showing the number of instances where we've recorded data, uh, but we can certainly change the name of that. You can also see each of the data points here are, being, are recognizing entries in our data set for the income per person for the country of Bermuda. You can also use tooltips here. If you hover above any of these dots, you can see what year it's related to as well as the value. So you can see in 2005, amazingly, it's an incredibly high income per person, was $69,000, almost $70,000 per person in the year 2005. Looks like in 2001, it's almost a 71,000, so it's continuing to go up. So there's something drastic that's happened in, here, in our data here where we've seen some changes happening in the mid-90s. So this is interesting that we can do this, but let's actually take a look at some of the other things we can do to adjust this chart. 
You can obviously here select values. If you wanted to, you can select the value. That way it emphasizes that one value and all the other ones are grayed out. So that is an option here. And if you had any other visuals on the design surface here that would actually apply cross filtering here for you. So it would filter those other visuals based on your selection that you've done here. You can also see if you go under the format paintbrush section here that you have some ability to adjust things like the line. So if you go underneath line, you can actually increase the thickness of the line. So you can make it something like seven, for example, and you'll notice that it's a much thicker line as you go through the uh, process of going through the line chart. You can also change the color of the line. So if you wanted to adjust the color, you can come in here and actually make an, any adjustments you wanted to to the color of the line. But I'm just going to change the thickness. I'll leave the color alone. You can also then go underneath the dot section. And underneath the dot section, you can change the color here as well. So I can change this, for example, if I wanted it to be more of kind of a yellow. I could certainly adjust that. And you can see it popping back in here now. And you can change things like the minimum and maximum size of those dots if you wanted to by simply changing the min and max size values here. Underneath the counter, if I go a little bit lower, the counter is actually going to show the title of the counter up here. So if I wanted to change the title of the counter instead of being called total features, I could rename this to something like total years recorded. So you have the ability to actually adjust that and see what number of years you're looking at here. You'll also notice that the line dot chart automatically started again. Once we got completed with the line dot chart after a few moments, it actually restarts, goes back to the beginning and plays again. You have some ways you can actually adjust some of those things if we go down to the next section here. So under the next section where you see animations, here you can actually come in and make some adjustments to this. The things like you can actually turn on or off the animation. If you don't really want the animation at all, you can turn it off. So that way you'll see the little play button that was at the beginning has now disappeared. Turn it back on. You'll see the play button returns here again. It's already automatically starting. You can also see this, the ability here to stop on load. If you do that, it'll actually stop altogether so it won't attempt to automatically kick off and play the line. And then this one is actually one of my favorite parts here is you can adjust the time it takes to use this. So right now it's set to about 20 seconds. If I wanted to, I can increase this to accelerate it quite a bit and say I need this to finish in five seconds. And if I hit play now, you'll notice that it moves quite a bit faster. Okay. And I'm able to see the results of the final view of the chart here very quickly. So it's just another way to be able to interact with this chart. Outside of that, however, if you scroll a little bit lower, everything else here is pretty standard functionality that you see in every one of the visuals. You can, of course, adjust things like the title. This would be the title that you see up here. You can adjust the background if you wanted to change the background color. The aspect ratio, of course, you can change that. And then things like general is just the position where you see it in the design surface. And if you wanted to add a border around it, you could do that as well. A couple things I'd like to see done to improve this one uh, is the ability to add things like labels. So I want to maybe change the precision or even add labels to the different axes we see here. Or maybe even a label down here in the bottom. That would be helpful. And there's some other things, of course, that we can do to, uh, that would be nice to improve over time as this visual is continue to be improved on. But it's a good start. It's a nice way to make a more interactive line chart from what you're probably used to on a day-to-day -day basis. That's it for this one, though. Stay tuned for our next custom visual and our next module. Thanks a lot.